Hello YouTube, welcome back to Sea of Stars. In the last episode, we stole a pirate ship, we settled refugees, we found Atlantis, we climbed a tower, and we knocked on a door. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Let's jump in the game. It's time. <laughs> okay, cool, so we're on the Glacial Peak. We literally did knock on a door, the last thing that we did. My god. Is the audio just extremely loud for anybody else, or is it just me? It's just me. It's my headphones. Super loud. But yeah, we knocked on a door. It turned out the timeline we were in, uh, we lost the battle. But since Garl was so nice to knock, uh, we didn't lose all of a sudden. I don't know. We're in a multiverse now. I'm confused. We almost got struck by some icicles. They should have danger signs or something. Oh, these guys are cute. Why are we fighting? What is this? Okay, you're not cute anymore. What are we doing here? Why? 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 Roach across a dairy? Roach across a dairy! You have to say it in an accent or it doesn't make sense. Roach across a dairy! Oh, bummer. We're battling a roach across a dairy. No, Valeria, it's not your turn. Ah, listen to me. Oh, I fucked that up. Yeah, we just wanted to see the attack. That's all. We just wanted to see the attack. Don't worry about breaking everything. Just let's see some attacks going on here. Now I just realized it's kind of a little breath of fresh air that we're not using classical, like, elemental-based magic all the time. Like, everybody has ice magic. Everybody has fire magic. Everybody has snow. We got water. We've got wind. We've got heart. We've got fucking Captain Planet. Now, today we got the moon and the sun. Let's go. Oh, fart fist. Let's, let's, we're making this happen. What are we doing? Music sheet number five. We have not found out what to do with these music sheets yet. Oh, I bet we have to shine the sun on this ice block. Wow. Very vulnerable to the sun. I'm surprised that didn't melt ages ago. How are you still here, ice block? Are we gonna get struck by these icicles, though? Chat. This is not a safe place, okay? This isn't a safe place for us. I'm from a snowy place. You know, I can tell an environmental hazard when I see one. This guy's gonna play some tunes. He's straight up DJing on the ice. <laughs> He's the boulder douche? Oh, I didn't know the devs hated DJ so much, but that is hilarious. Locked. I didn't actually want to do that. Oh my god, I just meant the regular attack. gonna get douched on. Nobody wanted that. Maybe you wanted that, chat. I didn't want that. Or did I? Am I just putting up a front? Oof. Maybe the devs have mad respect for the douche. Because that was intense. Just don't attack Valir. Too courteous. I need to change headphone batteries. Hang on. Hang on, everyone. I'm listening. 
I'm listening to you. I'm looking out for your chitty chats. I'm looking out for you. Don't worry. So don't worry. Hey, everybody's fine. We're all cool. You draw the smashy smash. Oh, now Valir's dead. Look at what you did. Oh, we can use a new ability. Solar Rain. Ooh, that was sick. Oh, I didn't know. We need to cook. We need to cook, guys. Holy balls. Mountain potatoes, my favorite kind of potato. Ouch. Uh, we need to find our way to that conch. I'm almost stressing out right now. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get down there. We gotta get a conch. Yeah. We gotta go. Stop cooking. We gotta go. Restful. Now let's get this conch. Where's my plate? Guys, where's my plate? Where's my plate? Okay, what are we trying to do here? What are we doing? How do we break you? Get out of here. Okay, we need to break this somehow. Those need to break. How do we do that? How do we do it? We got another boulder douche up there. DJ boulder douche in the heezy! Alright, yeah. Valir attack first. And then we got Zale with the solar. Oh shit. These guys are. <laughs> They're no joke though. <laughs> they actually hit really hard. Boom, get wrecked, douche. There it is. Alright. Wanna do it again? We can do it again. For combos here. Okay, we can do X strike. Solid. Um. What do we got? What do we got with homie here? We do a solar rain on both. Okay, that's pretty sick. I bet we do 54 on that boulder douche. If we don't, that's fucking lame. Fucking lame. Resist it. Hmm. 
Ah, well. By the power of the moon, I'll punish you. That was for you, Jazzo. Hot dupes! What's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. We have to figure out how to destroy these purple rocks. It's blue, not purple. But anyway, you know what I mean. Listen to what I mean, not what I say. Uh, oh, we interrupted the dance party. The Boulder Douche dance party. Shit. Shit. Well. Now nah, we got we got to take care of the douche. The douche is the douche is too much. Might be getting wrecked a little bit. I can't believe they called the DJ Boulder Douche, though. It's so funny. He's so funny. Chat, how are y'all doing today? That was not... See, this is what, I ha what happens when I try to talk. This is what happens when I try to talk to you guys, is I fuck up. I can do one maybe two things at the same time maybe two Arr, let's uh let's heal up I how rock dudes look like they are djing straight up and their name is actually boulder douche check this out well, if i live am i gonna die am i gonna is a boulder douche gonna kill me not today douche see boulder douche Hilarious. These guys have a decent amount of health too. Okay, let's get fucking Valir back up. Focus up, guys. Focusing. Not gonna lose the game to the douche. Reminds me of Parks and Rec. That one Parks and Rec episode. Not like one episode, but uh ah. What's the character's name? Something in the douche is the radio show. Something in the douche, douche, douche. Maybe you know what I'm talking about. Maybe you don't. Okay, we can't heal our way out of this battle. These guys are insane. guys up? Is that what's happening right now? Oh, sick. Soonerang. This is the first time we've used this. No, and I fucked it up! Damn it! Yet hit it. 
more of this quality near-death experience content that you've grown to love. There was no doubt, chat. We were going to win that the whole time. No doubt. Okay, but for real, what are we doing about this whole, this whole blue rock in the way of my life situation? Dynamite? Oh shit, okay, all right. Well, now what? They just took away like my favorite thing that I like to do in games and that's backtrack to make sure I didn't miss any items. These guys are just kind of trying to play and have a good time. No wonder they're mad at me. Catch this. Hate how fast these guys are. And, but frankly, I'm still not sure what the fast forward arrow next to their timers even means. Terrible. Doesn't matter. Still having fun. We're still having fun. Hard enemies here. They really, they really dig deep. Their thrusts really strike without warning. Those fights. I like being able to, you know, sneak up on the enemy a little bit. That's Lunar Shield. Get some freaking defense going on. Break the lock. Maybe disorient this guy. Yeah, kick you in the face. We'll do a little nourish down here. Hmm, delicious. So tasty. Extra boost power. Suck in the balls, get the boost. We're gonna cook and rest. Good god. Usually we like, we're just chilling on food. Chilling. No problem. such a severe mushroom shortage right now we should probably go back to where did we get all the mushrooms stonemason's outpost that's where it was really 
How did you guys know I was in this timeline? I barely know I'm in this timeline. However you did it, you are foolish for showing up here. Foolish and cornered, too. Your friends already tried acting tough. Didn't you get their report? My, they truly are feisty. Feisty and arrogant, too. Come then. Shit, that's a lot of... That's a lot of things to knock out right there. Let's do a good old-fashioned disorient. Yep. Buy us some time. From there, Moonerang. Usually I like to do a Lunar Shield right at the beginning just to, you know, take care of some damage, but in this case the opportunity to build up combo points is just like too much. I need it. Locked. Okay, we're gonna swap and dash strike. Yep, yep, yep. up. That's all right. Let's just get some attacks out there and get some, uh, get some balls in play. You always got to get the balls in play, guys. You heard me? It's important. in the number two. The number twos lately have been, you know, kind of weaselly. Kind of doing unexpected things. You want your number twos to be predictable. That's where we're taking number two out. Here we go. All right, sick. Uh, okay. Well, we can knock that out just one attack. Boom, boom. Oh, we got a triple. We've got a triple. Triple combo coming up. Nope. Combo. Come on. Moon shiv. High damage versus one target. Number two, going down. All right, this is a brand new ability, guys. Intro. Intro of this ability. Oh, sick. Ooh! Oh, feels good. Get kicked. Nut shot. Now we get focused Moonerang, too. Oh, our combo, our ultimate is charged up too. Ah, oh, we should have used the fucking ultimate. All right, next time. All right, you got lucky. Next time we will win. Win. And celebrate you. Get the fuck out of here. You chat, you get the fuck in here. For a hug. Get on in here, man. And don't come back. We're close, I can feel it. Let's do this.
Yeah, let's go. Did we really miss all of those puzzles down there? I hope we can come back. That was a sick move. Looks like we killed the party vibe. Doesn't seem like we have any more, uh... What is this? We stand on this and then and it breaks. It's all broken. I can't use it. What's up? What do I do? I don't know, chat. I don't know what to do about that yet. Okay, so apparently going through the door and knocking on the door that we knocked on, this is like the thing we needed to get so that we can defeat the Fleshmancer. The Solstice Amulet. So much energy. Same kind of power as as Carl. How do we get out of here? This block be melted, but the celestial rune is busted. That's what we just said, Garl. Huh? Damn right, chat. You're damn right. Let's do this. So many places we can go now. Whoa, so you can just do this at will now? The amulet's resonance with our magic is really strong. We got what we needed. Let's go back to Rashawn. Not gonna lie, I don't remember. Oh, Rashawn is the uh, the alchemist dude. Okay. Cool. Well, we've got some ice blocks to melt. Homies. Do I just melt this rock too? Get fucked, rock. Yes! All right. I love it. I love it. Oh, the doors have opened. And we will walk in them. Thanks, Beard on Firebot. You're a bro. Real fucking bro. All right, all right. Oh, I can push you. Get pushed. See if I can actually equip this thing though too. Quit. Mm, nope. Nope, nope. Can't equip it. Just a relic. Found a signet of clarity. What's this do? Skills cost minus one MP. 
Um, I think we'll hook up uh, Sarai with that because she has that disorient skill and it's just so clutch. That is such a clutch skill. Keep it the clutch ones. Oh, this is where we uh, can't go any further. Got it. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Nuts out or butts out, right guys? like it's a thing. Okay. Ha 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 ha! Power of the moon, I punish you. All right. Harlot Sry learned combo skill item roulette. Mm. Yeah, I think we gotta get this back to the beginning so that we can de-ice this rock. Yep. The image was so distorted, I thought that was like a little, just a little person in there. I could find a little skeleton. A little skeleton just wiggling around. Oh, this is where it started. Okay, that's where the ice block started. Cool. Don't panic. I think there were some more things to break over here. If I recall. Just been the conch. You know we're going for that conch though, right? Yeah, there was nothing. What you gonna do? Archives, yes. You have returned. Congratulations. Will you help us to get out uh, to get to Mesa Island now? Just there a few moments ago. Is this the way then? We just go back and hike down the mountain? Hiking Glacial Peak on foot. Only an animal would do that. So you got it back. Fucking call me Stella, motherfuckers, because I just got my groove back. Will you accept one final challenge? If you succeed, I promise I will help. We're in a hurry, you said. I know, I know. Hear me out. 
The only way to remove the barrier is to wake the giant stone head. I know the one. I can make the potion for you, but brewing it requires centuries of maturation. Centuries? That's useless. That is why I need you to recover my personal alchemy bottle, the vial of time. Within it, I can control time itself. Bring it back to me and I will prepare what you need in mere seconds. No way. All right. Where can we find your vial of time? Averill hid it somewhere on Watcher Island a long time ago. All I know for certain is that the giant statue from which the island got its name is the key. How can you be sure? Averill's tricks always involve big statues. <laughs> Eventually... I figured he would have to stop if I never recovered my vial, but here we are, Needart. This is ridiculous. Call it what you will, but I recommend you take this task seriously, or it will be very trying. Sure, whatever. We're ready. Then go to the northern part of Watcher Island and perform the cleansing of Torment Peak. Yeah, hey, all right. I knew we'd be going to Torment Peak soon enough. Cleansing? There's a dweller there? Of course. It may be just a prank, but Averill played it himself. But without their powers augmented by... Yes? That's what the Solstice Amulet is really for, isn't it? Precisely. It may be old, but its magic has yet to fade. Face the Dweller of Torment with conviction, and the amulet will resonate. Power to conjure an eclipse. All right, we can do this. Torment Peak afflicts the mind in devilish ways, but you deserve a fighting chance. Here. Ooh, goodies. Lumnus bread for all. Go on, drink. What is it? One dose of tethered mind potion for each of you. Come on now, bottoms up. Sparkles. I don't feel any different. Thanks to this potion, you will be able to say the same after spending time in that wicked place. I thought you couldn't help directly. It is but a little nudge. It's a little nudge. Surely this can stay between us. Is this the Fleshmancer? That'd be fucked. Thanks, Rashawn. We'll be back with the vial of time. Feel free to use this portal for quick travel between here and Lake Takari. I will be watching. Good luck. Not the glacial peak. We got that. We're good. Straight into the village, huh? Right on. Ah, the lake. Okay, that's what that kind of blankish island turned out to be. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, temple guy. You're total badasses now. Okay, fine. Uh, let's do a quick... Uh, Shell count, conch count, 31. Next one's at 35. Next unlock.
this is a place I did. Okay, Sacred Grove we did. I believe the forest all the way to the right was just nothing. Yep, nothing. What is that? No idea. It looks like a giant prison. It literally does nothing. Nice unlock sound. <gasps> Shrooms. Okay, guys, I know we just literally, we just unlocked the way to Torment Peak. But we're going to go back and see if we can do that other stone head puzzle. Just so I don't forget about it, get lost in the sauce. And then suddenly we're like halfway through the game. And then we remember, we go back and it turns out to be this amazing ability that we should have had the whole time. And then we raise it. Spent so long yesterday trying to figure that out. And here we are. Boom. stuff we need generates one more boost charge when initiating combat attack or grapple hell yeah i hope it works for like party members who aren't directly in the party at that time too i guess we can test that out easily and see by swapping can we swap right now So Sarai has that item. If we grapple with somebody and don't get two charges, then we know what's up. But we just got back to do Torment Peak. So let's do it. Trying to be nice, chat. A sleuth or a bile pile. These are things are nasty, man. All right, we're gonna we're gonna move ring. Just go full offense. Here we go. They've got to be weak against solar powers, right? Like solstice powers. Solstice powers. Sun and moon. Right there. What do we 
got here? We've got some Cyclops with the hard TS sound. But we can only knock out one of those guys. And we'll do it. Flesh shields. I don't like that. I don't like that for a lot of reasons. Dude, these these enemies are pretty nasty. Pretty pretty gross. Guys, before we get, mm, yeah, I think I think we actually just want to leave, leave the dungeon and come back real quick, and then we'll get a level. Simple as that. And then we can rest outside too, and cook up all the foods, all the giblins, everything that we need. You know, I bet there are enough fights in here that after this one, I'd like we're good. We're good to continue. Because we should level up one more time before the boss fight, is what I'm thinking. And if we're like 25 XP away from that, yeah, it's gonna be fucking shitty. Dude, a rhythm game in an RPG is just such a good idea. After playing Helldivers, I can't help but look at a game like Shadow of Mordor or Shadow of War and think to myself, like, they could really use the same types of mechanics too. Like the mechanic where you hold down a certain button and then you do like control and then you do like a directional button combination. Like so many games could benefit from that mechanic right there. And I'm really curious, like how many, especially indie games, Damn, that one gets me a lot. Uh, how many indie games uh, have changed course? Like, indie games that are mid-development decided, hey, Helldivers 2 has this really cool mechanic. Let's back up a couple steps and see if we can add something similar before we actually launch our game. It's not zero. I don't think it's zero. That's all I wanted to do. Loved it. A right, little boost. I can see one of the big names doing it. Cod or Battlefield. Oh, yeah. Well, they're... Oh, for sure. And, you know, they're panicking. They're panicking right now. They're like, oh, all these indie games are stopping us. Our gameplay hours are going down so fast. Our player base is shrinking. Everybody's playing Helldivers. We have to do something about it. <laughs> so I think they're going to start. They're going to start stealing. Instead of coming up with innovative ideas of their own, they'll start stealing ideas. I'm not saying that's stealing, right? Right? Like, it's a mechanic. It exists in the world. Like, use it. Use it, developers. But, like, of all the companies that have all the people working at them, so some frontline developers at Call of Duty and like EA and all these companies, they they have such good ideas that like upper management, and middle management just smashes to the ground, probably to the point where like a lot of people aren't even willing to express their ideas to their managers. They just go to work, do what they're told. They go home, they play Helldivers. <laughs>
and then they go back to work the next day. I just, I know that there are so many talented game devs out there that worked for big companies that have great ideas like this that just like, they just never get executed. They never see the light of day. Four twenty, dude. I'm in the the golden land. Four twenty. Got about it. Cod's solution to Hell Divers was adding a Warhammer 40k skin. EA using it to shoot three pointers in 2k, dude. Yeah, I mean you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Kind of hoping for better, you know. All right, let's see what this guy does with three moons. Multi-shoot. Blocked most. Actually, I meant to do a combo attack right there. Do a little, uh, little phase shiv. Uh, uh... Hardy, hello to you, badass lady gamer. Hardy, hello back to you. Steph Curry, orbital dunk. Let's see how much damage this does. Not bad. Nandor! Yeah, I want to actually, so, like, I got all the little videos of, like, the, what we do in the Shadows cast that, you know, pop up, and I have just kind of a generic hello, but I actually learned how to pull audio in a much better way than I was doing it before, so I should be able to get, like, unique voices for each of them that pop up uh, when you use the thing. So it'll still be random, like, which hello you get, but it will actually, like, match the character, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it'll be cute. I've been watching while I play Stardew, but all tabbing to chat was annoying me. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's why I'm a lurker most of the time. I'm busy doing what I'm doing, and I don't... It's like a, it's an extra step to go and chat. It's like a, it's a big extra step. Metal. There's no music. Swamp. Fucking goo. I also had Silas going, you have to take turns. And I was like, little homie, I actually do not. <laughs> this one is my game. You're damn right it is. It's doing multiple things. It's setting boundaries for yourself and also showing your kid who's the boss. It's like, no, 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 no. I am I am the boss. I am the captain now. I've always been the captain. They am like pointing down at the kid. Mm. I am the captain. Uh, I've been turning on these crystals the whole time. No idea if it provides me an actual benefit. Probably not. Ooh, look at all these flesh piles in here. Gross. There we go. When I was moon ranging from the top of the screen, that was bad news. How dare you flesh shield with probably five health left? 
18 health. 18 health, look at that. I made him a character in a farm and he was like, nah, I want to play yours. <laughs> look at me, I am the captain now, straight up. Hmm, okay, so I can climb down there. We can walk down here. I'm thinking climb first. This looks like more of a secret and more of a treasure chest spot. If I finish this game and it turns out I didn't get all the rainbow conches, do you guys know how fucking pissed I'm going to be? I'm going to rage. I will... I will make a spectacle. It says, Badass Lady Gamer, has your child entered the phase of insisting that your food is better, even though they all... Y'all are eating the exact same thing? No, he did that when he first started eating, but now he's in a very picky phase. I stayed in that phase for a long time. Not a fun phase. Dude, Zale just like <laughs> gets in Valir's face just to pump her up. You got this, Valir. Fucking psyched. We're gonna shred these bitches, and I'm gonna suck in their balls! Shiny. Shiny? Shiny! Mm. Whoa. Okay, I want this... to do a thing. Hello? Okay, well, something is going to pop out of that hole. And I want to grab it whenever it does. Although, in my honest opinion, summer sausage is better than salami. Going to suck their balls. Yeah, Zale's going to suck their balls. I was in character. Zale is going to suck in the balls. I mean, I would suck in the balls if I was there, too. Don't get me wrong. If I was there, suck in those balls and power up. What you do? Yeah, you guys, you guys need to go. Bye-bye. He said, fuck you. I won't do what you tell me. I'm very Rage Against the Machine style. Yep. Let's get some more balls in play. Oh wait, we got a combo. We got a combo, y'all. Ooh, that was a combo for the ages. Fifty-four, not quite enough. Sucking balls is just a way of life. The Mandalorian would say this is the way. Oh yeah, we're gonna level up for sure. It's happening. Nothing in here? No? Fine. That was a fun little thing. I feel like there could have been a puzzle there. Let's touch the crystal, maybe? 
Damn, Fleshmancer really took over this place. Tell you what. The fleshy, spiky goo pit. Green leaf. Okay, what's that all about? Max HP plus 15. Oh, does uh, our other homie have that? He sure does. Increases bonus from timing hits and blocks by 10%. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Oh, actually, the 10% bonus is pretty sick. We're going to keep that. Because, well, this is a me hoping thing. I'm hoping that that bonus, that 10% bonus, counts for each hit that you do during, like, a, like a big combo. A wombo combo. Uh, are those asses sticking up out of the ground? Yeah, those look like little asses. Little, like baboon asses. Zale? Yes? <laughs> He's seeing a bunch of furry little butts? Yep. Huh. Hello, ma'am. Y'all look so healthy. Is that a sword? Hey, you're like this other guy. He could shoot tiny little suns. He said he'd save our mom, and then he left instead. Aw. So rude. Don't be rude, son boy. What is going on here? Huh? Can we keep one? What happened to your mom? She's down below. We love her so much. She says we can't go and see her because of the monster. So we just stare at her from up here. She's so pretty. We used to run around the island. I miss the clouds. Do clouds still exist? What clip is that? Hey, it sounds like they're talking about the Gorilla Matriarch. Batik said all the divine spirits had been destroyed by the Fleshmancer long ago. Let's see, let's see, let's see. The headmaster mentioned this too, though he said they were either destroyed or harvested. So the cubs are food for the dweller. How did our order not stop this? We just put a seal on the mountain and pretend like nothing happened? Hey, it's rude to just talk between yourselves. Don't do this. We will help your mom and get you all back outside. Really? That would be awesome. You could run around the island again. Get some sun on those cheeks. Maybe they'll never return. I think they were eaten by the monster. I think they found a nice room and don't want to share. Not sharing is rude. We will return. You have our word. Let's end this madness. Post it in Discord. Thank you. I have a Discord. I'm just... It's the... The setting it all up and the me not technically being very social to begin with is kind of a thing. Run around the island. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. We... Uh, let's, uh... Let's set up camp here and see if the... There's something unique that happens. Just a bunch of butts. Rai has been very quiet at the campfires lately. He's just poking the hole with a stick. We can't do this cleansing. We must. Oh, they track you. Look at this guy. Oh, that's cute. She's down below. Can we look down there? I just know you can take that dweller on without more rain. I'll help however I can. Yep, 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 yep. Homes. 
That sound effect makes me uneasy. All right, we save it and move on. Hey, poke. Take a look down the holes. Don't be shy. Okay, we got an orange crystal. Okay, well, that seems like forward. Let's see if we've got a special item or something here. <gasps> awesome! Okay. It takes us back out to the front. The devs knew that this is a good grinding spot and that people would take advantage. Okay, we've got to get down there somehow. Probably by climbing this. Wait, is that a, a secret path? That is not a secret path. Wasn't a secret path, y'all. How is that scary? Sounds like an actual orchestra plucking worm up. Do you not hear it? Are you a sociopath? Are you a sociopath, Nate the Dog? How do you not find that scary? They feature it in so many horror movies. Yeah. Yeah, you're crazy, man. You're crazy. Gorilla Matriarch! You really are alive! You should not have come. Ooh. I'm gonna mark this spot. That... That is a good... Uh, that is a good... Thumbnail pick right there. The evil of this place is too vile to confront, even for solstice warriors. What happened to you? I was subjected to the Fleshmancer's final affront to this world. Before leaving, he placed a seed of evil in the depths of this mountain and bound me here so that my cubs would remain in close proximity. This guy, I swear. I thought it was something in Stardew for a second. I was like, what the fuck? You're like, what happened? What horror did I just trigger? I'm cursed to watch helplessly as they walk before me on the way to be devoured by the growing dweller of torment. That's Fucked. And with their innocent minds so easily controlled, my pleas always go unheard. What a terrible fate. How did we not know about this? Surely those who came before would have reported on the presence of a divine spirit, let alone a dweller. We're going to find out Moraine did this. Okay. So, Nate, are you coming at this from the angle of, like, I was in orchestra and I played instruments? Because the rest of us just hear horror movie sounds. It's all connected to the curse of this place. It was devised to be the perfect lair. Memories formed within the mountain to belong, belong to it forever. Oh. Oh. Solstice warriors came, but whenever they left to get reinforcements, they would remember nothing other than a crippling sense of dread. All they could do was seal the mountain and never return. Oh, wow, so it's a memory trick. I'm so sorry. I was a musician for most of my years in academia. Called it. There's no room for science. Music science in here, man. This is a place of emotion. Emotion. There isn't much that could uh, have been done, even if they did prepare a cleansing. We are so deep within the lair, the light from the eclipse would never touch the dweller to make it vulnerable. There has to be a way. Your duty to the world at large is paramount. Please, seal the mountain again and go. So fucked. Zale and I will fight. No sitting around this time. I'm fighting too. Okay, so the Tethered Mind Potion keeps our memories safe, but that's useless for the fight. And the Solstice Amulet should resonate with the Dweller, but the light from the Eclipse will never get in here. I have a plan. Just go and trigger the Eclipse. She's gonna portal an Eclipse Sunbeam down. My band director would be screaming, music is emotion. That's right, Sarai has left the party.
Hang in there, matriarch. We got you, girl. There's some uh, cephalopods in these little red uh, red things here. Cephalopods. That's a concept I relearned today. Hey, there's a cub. Oh no. We're about to witness something horrible. Shield your eyes, chat. If you're squeamish of stomach, look away. Eye muffs. I want to see my mom. She's just over there. Come, we will take you to her. I feel she is this way. I think you lie. Please come with us. We talked to her and she is very worried. Why do you lie? I want to see my mom. Leave me alone. Wait! Here we go. Why don't you try us for lunch instead, you creep? Shoot. The amulet reacted. I can feel the eclipse. Yeah, there it is. All right, came back. Sra, whatever you're planning, please make it quick. Heads up. Boss fight, lunar shield. This is the way. Let's get some balls on the field. Zero damage. Okay, well, Sarai's not here, dude. I can't do anything about this. Oh, you can attack the fists, too. Hang on. So we got right arm and left arm. No damage there, either. How do we damage this dude? Nothing. Okay. It's useless. We need more light. Dry. Make way! Sorry, I'm late. Right on, Sarai. Let's take this thing down. Sonic pain. Woo! Yeah, it's a good way to get MP. So there's that at least. Let's see. So, a moon shiv. There it is. All right, we're starting to do damage now. We're starting to do damage now. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do a Venom Flurry so we can knock down two of those poisons on the lock. Well, at least I got two. The cutscenes look so good. I know. I love the art. Uh, the art style is amazing. Shit. Oh, I should have delayed. That's what I should have done. 
Oh well. Wait, solar rain. Yeah, let's go. Such a good way to get MP back. Honestly, kind of a gift. Sunball, perhaps? Yeah. All right, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do some healing next round. Next round is heals. All right, let's get that mushroom soup, AOE heal. All right. And then we'll move half. Let's hold it. Hang on to the moon ring. Let's get some more balls on the field. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, wait. Hang on. Let's swap. We've got our ultimate in. Have you guys seen this yet? Did you guys see the ultimate yet? Okay, check this out. If you're looking away, look at the screen now. Like, if you're lurking, this is this is the time to watch because this is a cutscene and it's sick as hell. I love it. It's the only ultimate ability we have so far. See the guy's face though? It looked like he kind of liked it. <laughs> He's like, mm. oh, it hurts so good. Not gonna kink shame this dude, but come on. All right, uh, let's let's see. Yeah, girl, you're my you're my healer. Let's do this. of skills for this guy. It's nuts, man. This boss does a lot of different attacks. Okay. Well, do I have a combo for you, sir? Let me show you a solstice strike in your face. Get broke. Nerd. More balls on the field, that's what I say. Yeah, we're gonna moon rank. Our team got way more MP. Ooh, that was a surprise. All right, build up the MP. Same here, build up the MP. I don't know if this is really going to do much of anything. Probably not. I mean, not bad. Nailed it.
triple boost on that arm. Hell yeah, we knocked out an entire arm. Ooh, took that one to the chin. Combo item roulette. Picks a random item for special effect. That's pretty sick. Let's go ahead and do that. Check this out. This is a this is a newer ability. Rubber ducky. Wow. That did a hell of a lot more than I was expecting. Nice. Now we can focus down the left arm. I don't think this is this enemy's final form. It might be, which that'd be nuts. But I really don't think it is. here. All right, then after that, we're going to swap in Sarai so that Sarai can do a Disorient, and then we can buy a little bit more time in this stun state. Disorient is huge. It's such a clutch-ass move. 672. All right. Okay, Sarai. Okay, as much as I want to do your ultimate right now, that gets us three more turns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Solstice Strike just for MP. Worth it. We got here is Dash Strike. Okay, I think Dash Strike is the most powerful one we've got available. Twenty one twenty five on each hand. Wow, all right. All right, primary target, left hand. Sure if there's any bonus that I can get during that. That happened faster than I thought it was going to. Two moons, huh? All right, we'll do a Venom Flurry just so we can get at least two. anything in a combo no damn it all right well we're not gonna be able to block that too bad sonic pains incoming gets us a bunch of mp said it before and i'll say it again it's good for mp
Ooh, that could have gone better. Hmm. A little nourish. A little nourishment. A little tasty treat. Okay, and next, uh, no need to disorient. Let's just get some more balls in the field. Damn. Okay, let's do a disorient now. Sick. Hunk of cheese. It's pretty big. It's a fatty cheese hunk. Sometimes you just need a quick snack that's like semi healthy, you know? That's what you do. It's a large hunk of cheese, dude. I love cheese so much. So much. Hmm. Hmm. So it's cool. It's a moonerang, but with sun, so that's a soonerang. Oh man, I suck. That would have been amazing. What a heal, holy shit. Balls. Uh, hmm. That sucks. I'm not gonna be able to get that last poison. Bummer. I knocked out one of his hands so he wasn't able to do his special ability. Ha ha ha. Sucks for you, fucking dick. Do I like cougar cheese? I like cougars and I like cheese. So, maybe? So satisfying to hit with that. Four forty four. All right. May as well ultimate, right? Hit them while they're down. Hey, everybody, walk out, and we're just gonna step all over this giant gorilla head. didn't do much. Didn't that heavy deflect? It's forty two. Hell yes. Yep, let's get a ball on the field. Hey. Yeah. 
Really good cheese made by WSU students packed in a large flat can. It's like $35 a can. Right on. I think those students studied business and marketing. Ready to go free the matriarch? You bet. Dude, you owe us nothing, matriarch. Oh, but it is the least I can do. Fixing the watcher will only take a moment, and its prism is how you uh, how you will find what you are looking for. Mom, can we go run around the island now? Certainly, my dear. In fact, we must run to the Watcher right now. Mom, can we go swimming now? First, we must go to the Watcher. Then we can go to the water. Watcher water. Hey, how fast can you say Watcher water? Watcher water. Watcher water. Watcher water, watcher water, watcher water, watcher water. That counted. kick-ass cheese it better be $35 a can that is a cheese I will never try so the watchers prism is the key let's see here you use R2 and L2 on the world map to unveil the secret area gonna be right there right that place that we couldn't go to before yeah makes sense dad and i's favorite bring you some right on i mean i'm down to try it's kind of like uh you know drinking expensive whiskey it's something that i'll never ever buy for myself i enjoy it when i try it definitely not as much as somebody who actually enjoys whiskey I guess I could just be looking at the borders. That was pretty easy. Ooh. Hmm. I know what to do this Christmas. <gasps> Sneaky conch. Oh, okay. Conch count. 34. So close to unlocking the next unlock. Hey, guys, we actually found a way to use the conches. That's something that's kind of news. If you missed the last episode yesterday, we found out that down in the Dakari village, so the underwater village, you can actually spend your conches. And I don't know about you, but I had like 28 by the time I ever got there. So we actually got some pretty good shit right out of the gate. So get your conches. Don't, don't, don't slack. All right. We're all part of the cult of Conch together. We worship the Conch God. You need to do your part. Do it now. Got the vial of time. This is it. Let's go take it to Rashan. To Rashan we go. With just a quick detour for another conch turn in. Is there anything else I can unveil here? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? No? All right. Okay. I thought you could use them in Brisk with the lady whose house we went into and she said she was rude to us. No, she was, uh, she required a trader's amulet or a trader's signet in order to do business with her which we did not have. See, so yeah, I think she actually had other stuff going on, but this one is like specifically conch only unlocks. All right, we got to we got to go down underwater.
Oh. I thought I said 35. Well, one more con should we get something healthy? Sean, we have your vial. Dude, I'm 50-50 that Rashan is the is the Fleshmancer. Just like maybe reformed like Fleshmancer who'd realized that eh, they're not all good, basically. Either troubled past or actual Fleshmancer. It appears you do, but we should make sure it is not an imitation. Go. would you kindly throw it at the wall? Uh, with all your strength. Want a break? I hope so. Well, okay. Whoa! Vial of time. Oh, how I've missed you. Thank you for recovering my most prized possession. You have shown much bravery. You better hold up your end of the bargain now. No more errands. Oh, make no mistake. I am coming with you. Huh? But my code is strict, so there are rules. First, I may assist in battle but it is not my place to win for you. As such, I will match your power, but never exceed it. Oh shit, okay, so there, is this the new party member? Wait, you're really going to, next. No one other than the four of you can be aware of my true identity. You are, refer you are to refer to me exclusively as Rashan, and most importantly, never as the immortal alchemist. You got it. Might want to be extra careful around Teeks, though. Yeah, yeah. Heads up, dude. She's gonna, she's gonna see through you real quick. Lastly, and most importantly, I'm in under no circumstances allowed to fight a Dweller. If a confrontation occurs with a Dweller of Strife, that fight will be yours and yours alone. Understood. Shall we go, then? Uh, Rashad? Yes. You can't come like this. Your robes are all tattered. Oh? If you don't want people to know you're immortal, maybe clothes that have been decaying for millennia aren't the safest bet. Fair enough. Better? Totally. Then lead the way. Mesa Island is just to the northeast. The one with the giant stone head. Rashan the immortal alchemist joins the party. Holy shit. Frame story meets main story. Converges. New timeline. Kind of trippy, guys. Kind of trippy. Excuse me a moment while I cheese. It is nice to meet you, Teeks. I am also a traveler of sorts. Rashan, huh? So you make potions? <laughs> you could say that. 
Now, wait a minute. There's more to you. Let me sniff you. You've been sniffed, sir. I see. Don't worry, I won't tell. Would you mind, though? <laughs> Literally, first person met. Saw through identity. Nate the dog, take it easy. We'll catch you later, man. If you promise not to tell me my true identity, you can have my story, yes. I promise. Just stand still for one second here and... Thanks. Hey, we were just wondering what to do with the glass dome. You can use it as a greenhouse. Come, I'll show you. Potion guys, welcome to... Potion guys, welcome to stay, of course. Mesa Island, eh? That's where we're headed. Aye, that'd be roughly to the north of here. Big stone head, can't miss it. Just grab the wheel whenever you're ready. Uh, we've got a ship! Oh, sick. We can enter the boat now. we we'll talk to everybody on the boat. Falcon-eyed parrot. 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 Pirate. McGawk! Ahoy! What'll it be? Never mind. Ooh! Mesa Island is to the northeast. The one with a giant stone head. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Dude, pretty decked out. Yolanda's the best boss I've ever had. Does that mean you can fast travel? Oh, the fast... Have you seen the fast travel? It's pretty sick. I'd want that room of the ship. Absolutely, I'd want that room of the ship. Yeah, the fast travel is awesome. It takes a little bit of getting to, though. That's the only not awesome part. Who hangs up in the crow's nest? You know this is somebody's home. Some NPC is like, I live up here. I'm disappointed. Ooh, glad there's no fall damage. Sweeping is a full-time job. The second I'm done, it's worth starting over. Still sailing, still sweeping. Lots of old stuff we may or may not need. Valtrade says I can figure it out on my own. This box feels bottomless. I don't trust the alchemist yet. That's a good boat we got. Just gotta treat it well. You guys are... Well, dude, the captain is both upstairs and downstairs at the same time. What's this? I've played for 22 hours and 38 minutes? Jesus. I've only gotten 12 out of 42 feats. What the shit? No deaths, 85 meals cooked. Mesa Island, finally. What do you have to say up here? I'm glad I joined the crew. The air is always so good. I feel a bit woozy. I hope I'll get my sea legs soon. Yeah, that would 
honestly be such a deal breaker for me. Uh, I get really motion sick. That would be rough. That would be a rough one. So Rashawn's an immortal, huh? Oh, Ratch! The way Sarai brought the light in Torment Peak, it was unbelievable. Don't forget to prepare snacks for the road. Uh, yeah, let's make... So we got... Oh. Let's do a couple of mushroom scrambles. They're good. They're real good. Who are you? Crewmate, we've got all the supplies we need. Teeks is a really good storyteller. Yep, sure enough. Yep, let's catch a nap. Save the game. Damn, dude, they said this is a 28-hour playthrough. I'm already 22 hours in. I must be slow as fuck. With all that extra time I spend running around looking for treasure chests. But you know, sometimes I find them. So worth. Okay. Mesa. Hmm. We're just going to kind of cruise a little bit. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So that's the end of it. We follow this. Dude, okay, so we've got to be able to, like... We're going to make a prism around here somewhere. Maybe it's more toward the other end? I can change the day. So I can hold left trigger and right trigger, and I can change the time. So that's still a thing. Wait, wait, wait. What's that? Oh, yeah. See, you can see... You can see the light moving down there. We just got to find something that will pop that up out of the water. I think I'm getting ahead of myself. You know, let's go check this out. Because we got at least like one shop owner that we built a shop for. building, baby. We've got the shop. I think we have a shopkeeper right there waiting to move in. It worked out nicely. Had you already found a professional to run the place? Yeah, we had. All right, time for an in. I don't know where we have an in person. Oh, I bet we have an in person in Lucent. I bet it's in Lucent. Fishing hut. Mm. Ooh, that's fun. Incentive to catch more fish. Let's see uh, the rewards list first. 
something sturdy. Okay, 23 total fish varieties for something flimsy. Check that species count. Hey, you got 12 different species. That means I got something for you. A stereofilament line and a mithril rod. Okay, next unlock is at 14, only two more fish. 23 is after that. Where do we keep these things? Are they in here? Relics. <clears throat> oh, these are cool. I mean, these these are. Oh, that's kind of cool. Falcon eyed parrot adds a treasure hunting parrot to the Vesper team can be prompted while consulting the map for hints of things left to find. OK, a sturdier fishing rod that carries so much power it intimidates the catch, causing its stamina to deplete faster. Hell yeah. Made of sturdy material to offer more leeway when reeling in a stubborn catch. Can take more damage before breaking. Nice. Okay. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, I wonder what Rashawn's abilities are like. Let's check this out. Use a withered cork. Does Rashawn fight with a wine bottle? Okay, that's pretty awesome. Tattered cape is better than the spectral cape. Enchanted to appear to be in mint condition. <laughs> withered cork in need of a replacement. Period. All right, may as well green leaf and may as well power belt. Hell yeah. Elder Moraine's house is all done. I have to say, I'm pretty happy with the result. Nice. We gotta check everybody's houses. Elder Moraine, we have questions for you. Oh, good. This is a really nice house. Thank you. I wasn't expecting this much. Dude, we're not gonna say like, hey, what's up? There was another dweller you knew nothing about, bro. And we took care of it, no problem. So, what's the story, Moraine? This must be the shop. Hey, yeah. Yes, this will do so well. I can already hear the clients coming in. Welcome to the equipment shop. That's us. We are clients. Abacus, we've got one of those. Ensures double hits. That's pretty awesome. Chance of automatically timing locks. Increases sailing speed. Well, yep. I'm picking that up. How about you? This place is perfect. Even better than I imagined. Item shop. Yes. Oh, you have onions for sale. Oh! so happy i've wanted onions for so long oh five peaches why don't we get five more young man dairy ah uh, maple syrup can we buy mushrooms can we buy mushrooms young sir young sir teach you how to yeah of course i want to buy that Oh my god, I just spent all my money on food. <laughs> okay, let's look at the relics. We better have our... Uh... What's the one? Uh, salient sales. There we go. Increase the sailing speed by 20%. Fuck yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Brustad. Plus 80 HP and 7 MP for the entire party. Mm, that's good. That's so good. Damn. I'm loving it. Like fucking McDonald's style up in here. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, saving it. I will be absolutely responsible for my overspending. Okay, so let's head to Lucent to see if we can find an innkeeper. 
I'm just guessing that we're going to find the innkeeper there. Hell yeah, we're ready to set sail. Let's go. Dear visitors, if I may trouble you, one of my two brothers has, re has recently found himself out of work. I promised to put the word out for him. Would you happen to be aware of an opportunity fit for an innkeeper? Mirth, you say? This does sound like the perfect opportunity. I will send him a message and forward your invitation right away. Thank you. The inn is now available in Mirth. Boom. Mirth is decked out. Full buildings. Fully stocked. Ready to go. Hmm. All right. So next we add to the Mist Isles and unlock Moraine's door. You haven't been in the real world for a long time. Office key. Uh, did you trash the place, dude? I guess he's just kind of messy. Okay, this is the only document of this type we've ever run into in this entire game. What is going on? What is this up? What is this up? You tell me that, chat. What is this up? I don't know what that means either. You know, sometimes I just say the wrong words, guys. Cool. So we need to find, like, the Rosetta Stone somewhere. Hopefully in this chest. Moonstone Bracer sounds like it was made for... Ooh, that's good. Magic attack plus 10. Oh, hell yeah. Yes, yeah, so we got Leeching Thorn, which has been doing fantastic. That's magic attack plus 5. We got an upgrade. Green Belt, Power Belt. We've been really rocking the magic attack on almost all of our tunes so far. Okay. Solid. Okay, I'm going to try sun and moon powers in here and just see if anything happens. No? Oh, we haven't visited Brisk in a while either. Okay, straight west for Brisk. Last time we couldn't get in. Like the town was no longer open, but it's been a little while. You know, maybe we can visit the town now. They were trying to rebuild. Hey, there we go. They are open. Welcome to Brisk. The repairs are all but complete. Solid. We still don't have a trader's signet. I'm happy with the repairs. There have been some minor changes, but it's still the brisk we know and love. I think minor change number one, merchant under the dock, should uh, hook it up. We'll need a lot of ships to get trade going again. It's weird seeing our docks without any boats. One thing at a time, though. We'll get to that eventually. I long to have the essence of my beauty immortalized on canvas. If only there was a painter with true flair. I know just the guy or mole person for you. Okay, well, we got to hook that person up. Hi, uh, welcome to my house. I'm sorry, but I'm not accepting visitors unless you happen to carry a trader's signet. I wonder if I get that from the quiz master. Do bad. Everyone worked really hard to restore Brisk. Some might say it's not as beautiful as it used to be, but I disagree. Welcome. Are you looking for new equipment? I see you've not upgraded your stock. That's disappointing. Heading out, have a look at my fresh vegetables. Well, you do carry dairy. 
That's cool. Been a bit harder to get good ingredients lately, but we can't really complain. Do that? Too bad I'm a bot and can't make a clip. <laughs> After everything that happened, I'm even more thankful for the time I get to spend with my grandkid. My grandpa is so brave during the attack. I want to be like him when I grow up. Yeah, he was. What a badass. I don't remember what he did. Hey, it's a sleepy dude. That was a lot of work. Sure was, Brozef. Okay, we're just gonna cruise through. You don't have anything I can win? I'm not interested. I know a lot of things. I meant that as a humble boast. Am I not doing this right? Is it a bad time? Yeah, no, it's wrong about the pirates. They really helped. Plus, they play amazing music. Oh, yep, and here they are. Okay, this one makes sense. Sometimes the pirates show up and you kind of just go like, what? We just got the ability to breathe underwater and here you are? Just, you're already in the end playing music? And we just got this magic power? <laughs> Like just now? It doesn't make sense. Okay, who's next? Damn, like it's been a while since we talked to all these people, so I don't remember if any of them had like a quest or something. Mulkin are really hard workers and so knowledgeable. I don't know how we would have done it without them. A lot of us came down to help as soon as we heard the news. Yeah, you did. It's like a half Mulkin town now. That's pretty cool. What's up with this? Look like a thing. Whoa, I want to talk to this guy. Hey, hey, fella. Old timer. Uh, he just looks like he's having a great time. Hey. <laughs> Let me up here. I want to go talk to this guy. My favorite spot was destroyed. I found a new one. I like it even more. Yeah, this guy. This guy's... He's living the life. Okay. Le Demange is food, right? Eat a sandwich... With tomatoes, cheese, and something. Come on. Something about a baguette. I do like this. I do like that it's challenging my American nature. Hey, dude. Just kind of confused me more than anything else. Mm. Hey, you're the ones that helped out when the attack happened. Who knows how many of us would be dead if you hadn't shown up? Real heroes you are. Shucks. I'm not playing your fucking game, dude. Never again. Who's around brisk trying to find anything new? Yeah, I think east side of town, up on the rooftops, we'll need to explore. You're the solstice warriors who came to aid, right? Are we safe now? 
Do you feel safe? Dude, your town looks pretty good. In the end, I decided to return from Mirth and help restore the shipyard. Oh, good for you. The town comes first, of course, but someone has to worry about the ships. Hey, you guys are doing good work. I'll tell you one about a secret spot. It's the makeout spot. Okay, so... Brisk is thus far a bust. I mean, I guess we found that guy who speaks French. <clears throat> I still can't believe how fast Brisk got back on its feet. Yeah, you guys are killing it! As you can imagine, a lot of people struggled following the attack. It's good that we had the rebuilding project to focus on. <laughs> Indeed. I'll be visiting Birth for the first time soon. Some of my friends decided to move there, and we haven't seen each other for a while. Yeah, get the, uh, get the Mirth to Brisk ship trade happening. Okay, there was a place up here. Okay, this was another game, right? Yeah, fuck that game. I'm out. Some say this guarding spot is cursed because of what happened when the Dweller hit, but someone has to do it. Didn't think about that, so last guard got smoked right there, huh? They're like, they built like a big ass, like a castle thing? What's up with this? La Chateau? building is still under construction. Entry is verboten. Fine. What if I sneaky sneak my way in? What are you gonna do about that? Have you seen the work site right there? Apparently they're building an arena. All right, well, it doesn't appear that there's a hell of a lot going on in Brisk. Did they have to repair the fountain, or was the fountain still good? Anything? Anything? Nope. I only heard rumors about the big building, but I won't try to learn more. I want to be surprised. Not me. I want to know. I don't hate surprises, but I want to know. When I heard what happened in Brisk, I decided to come here to see how I could help. These people deserved better. Are you talking shit about yourself to me? Lady, that's not cool. The renovations went pretty quickly. It was quite wholesome to see that everyone came together like that. What a surprise. Welcome to the Golden Pelican. Did you have a reservation for today? No. My apologies. The Golden Pelican is only for those with a reservation. I must ask you to leave. Okay, dope. Well, I guess we got to find a reservation for the Golden Pelican now. Get the hell out of town. We're after the inn. Oh, Valir, I must thank you again for inviting me to take care of Mirth's inn. I will make sure it becomes a noteworthy establishment. Welcome, Valir. How may I help you today? You may not. I didn't know the pirates could play music. They're good. Play the underwater ditty. Gotta get you guys some new. T hey, if I give you, can I give you music tracks? I bet you we're the only band with a ghost in it. New music sheets, I give them here. Oh yes.
Nice. All right. Happy to supplement your game of wheels with some music. Notice how I spin it. How do you like our tunes? I'm gonna slap my octopus. Mesa hike starts now. <gasps> Fast travel. Oh my God. Should, should, I, should I have fast traveled here? <laughs> like from here? Should I have started here before I started sailing the fucking ship around everywhere? Mm, the more you know. Wake up. Good morning, Ku Good morning, Kuka. Master, have you come to check on my work? As you can see, I have not faltered. I commend your dedication. Thank you, Master. Um The water has risen quite a lot. How long was I asleep? An irrelevant matter. Afro left a long time ago and his acolytes have lost most of their powers. It will not happen again anytime soon. I understand. How can I help? These people are your friends. I understand. Your turn. Fucking Garl. Hello, Kuka. Hello, Kukar. Greetings, friend. Can you help us in any way? My main duty is to hold Mesa Island at a precise altitude. Oh, Flying Island, you say? Anything I can do without hindering my grip, I will gladly oblige, friend. Well then, could you remove the barrier so we can get onto it? Oh, surely you know of the evil castle that sits there. It is no place to send a friend. That's still where we're headed. I will not send friends into danger. I refuse. Chicka, 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 chicka. <clears throat> Try it again. Good morning, Kukar. <laughs> Master, have you come to check out my work? As you can see, I have not faltered. I commend your dedication. Thank you, Master. How can I help? These people are adventurers on a very important mission and require your help. I understand. Try again. Just the same thing? Please. Hello, Kukar. Greetings, adventurer. Have you met my brothers Extol and Yeet? I can help you get to them in no time. Just sail into my mouth and choose a destination. <laughs> That's... Okay, that does sound useful. But for now, what we need is for you to remove the barrier on the island. I see. One moment, please. <laughs> so we're not friends. We're adventurers. So he's willing to put us in danger now. Ooh, look at that blood red keep. And the new passage. <laughs> yeah, we totally should have come here first. There it is. Thanks, Kukar. Naturally. Shafe travels, adventurers. Shafe. 
Shave travels. Up we go then. Lead the way. Yeah, Rashawn doesn't climb like a millennia old man. That's that's impressive. Or woman. I mean, we don't really know. TBH. Ah, let's have a little camp out in this lovely glade. What the fuck was that noise? Must be hard thinking about this whole Erlina and Brugava situation. I'm here, okay? I wonder what Rashawn wants in all of this. You seem to think you're, you and Zale were special, which I agree. So Rashawn's an immortal, huh? Oh, Ratch. Mesa Island. It was about time. Erlina and Brugavis. Still can't believe what they did. It's nice to... It's nice to stretch my... It's nice to stretch my legs out a bit. Under no circumstances am I fighting a dweller. It's nice to stretch my legs out a bit. There we go. Got it. We got there, chat. Look, and don't stress. The Clockwork Castle is on the east... <laughs> the Clockwork Castle is on the east side of Mesa Island. We'll have to cross it on foot. The Acolytes are probably watching. Don't let your guard down. I don't trust the Alchemist yet. I mean, I respect... Sarai's gut instinct so much after the whole Brugava Serlina situation. Don't we all? Well, gang, that's it for today. It's been fun. It's been a really good one. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Give it a like if you like it. Dislike if you don't. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.